I'm a hobo in a comic strip, dozing on a hill underneath a tree. I got the soles of my worn out boots flapping in the breeze so my toes pull through. I got a long string of Z's growing from my lips like this. And then one of these. Got a five o'clock shadow. Got my stuff in a bundle. Laid out below me is a town called Next. I got a noggin full of songs. I got a story on my tongue. But I got absolutely no other prospects. I'm a hobo in a comic strip. Strolling through town. I keep my hobo nose up and my pointy elbows pointed down. Good day, sir. Ma'am. Lovely baby in the pram, you see. I got pride enough to last me past tomorrow. Cause I never borrow, never steal, never beg. Not even when my thought bubble goes, ooh. Chicken leg. But what is that smell? Over past the planter with its tidy row of daffodils, what is that cooling? on a windowsill. My oh my, it's an apple pie with a crisscross crust. And you know what else it's got. Those three wavy lines rising from the top. Yep, the apple pie is piping hot. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I better think for a minute. Turn my lucky pocket inside out, see if happenstance maybe put a penny in it. Mm hmm. Better think. Think. Think of things only a hobo knows. Like how a hedgehog will run the way his hedgerow goes. How the cold sleet will eat you when the north winds blow. How the crickets chirp quicker where the green corn grows. How to just tramp through manure and come on smelling like a rose. I get my light bulb pose. I'm a hobo in a comic strip with a homemade bouquet. I spent a good quarter hour plucking just the perfect flower. So I take off my hat and I step up on that stool. And I'm hoping this heat doesn't wilt these posies so they droop towards the welcome mat on the front porch floor when va 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 boom comes to the door. And she is so well drawn. She's so proportioned and pretty. I figure uh, maybe she moved here from Comic Strip City. She's got those long eyelashes and an apron on. And this is how the hobo and the homemaker meet. Her with a speech balloon looming overhead like a typographic moon going, flowers for me! How oh, sweet! And then, oh, how she blushes when she gets a glimpse of mine. It goes, asterisk, exclamation point, ampersand, at symbol, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. You're fine. <laughs> that next to last panel is so much my favorite, I should clip it out and stick it to an icebox and save it. Because right there, right then, I'd see my heart, my hobo heart, jump from my chest and thump back again. <clears throat> I'm a hobo in a comic strip. I am side by side on a porch swing, singing with my comic strip bride. We like to watch the fireflies light up the dusk. And I painted two pickets on her white fence, rust. It reminds me of railroad tracks.
they say, hey, mister, listen, ain't you ever coming back to whistling in the moonlight and pissing in the dust? And oh boy, I just might. And I might just not. And I might let that notion go done, get forgot. I mean, my oh my. I get daily apple pie. I'm a hobo in a comic strip. And every so often, I'll tell folks stories when I don't really mean them. But oh, don't the twilight stars twinkle? Don't the honeysuckle blossom? Don't two lovebirds descend? with a banner between them. That's right, friends. The end. Thank you very much. That's a brief brother. Holler at us afterwards if you feel like it. Don't holler at him, he doesn't speak English. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.